In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the ocean to take a look at some of the weirdest discoveries, like this purple orb and this surprisingly well-preserved land vehicle. Icy Finger of Death Nature's grace and fury are found in equal measure in distinctive structures known as brinicles. A more vivid description for it is the icy fingers of death. The unusual phenomena that create these underwater icicles can be seen in the planet's Arctic oceans. It's rarely captured on camera because it occurs beneath floating sea ice. Brinicles are ice-like structures that can reach all the way down to the ocean floor, freezing everything in their path, including starfish and sea urchins. Professor Andrew Thurber of Oregon State University, who has seen Brinicles firsthand, described them as upside-down cactus created from glass, like something from Dr. Seuss's imagination. They're also incredibly delicate and can break with only the slightest touch, according to him. However, as it reaches the seafloor, this tiny ice finger can easily trap sea life, which experts refer to as black pools of death. Ugh, not one way you'd want to go. Lost City of Dwarka Dwarka, an ancient Indian city, is claimed to have sunk into the Arabian Sea. Underwater archaeologists have been searching for the foundations of its city walls in order to verify its existence. Dwarka, one of India's seven holy pilgrimage sites, is not only religiously significant, but also archaeologically important. The city's historical incarnation, known as the Old Kingdom of Krishna in the epic Mahabharata, has sprawled across nearly 84 kilometers of a fortified city where the Gomti River and the Arabian Sea met. When Krishna died, the ancient city sank beneath the Arabian Sea, according to the text. Archaeologists attempted to find tangible evidence of the sunken city off the coast of modern-day Dwarka in the second part of the past century in order to prove his existence beyond doubt. As a result, various artifacts, including stone blocks, pillars, they've all been discovered underwater. However, the precise age of these discoveries is still being contested. However, archaeologists are now preparing for an underwater dig to hunt for the ancient city's walls foundations. If they can pinpoint the exact location of the settlement, it'll have enormous historical significance for India. Purple Orb Little Purple Blob was discovered on the ocean floor by scientists around the research ship EV Nautilus. They recovered the mass using a remotely operated vehicle and have attempted to determine what it is. Purple Blom was discovered deep in the Arguello Canyon, close to the Channel Islands, National Marine Sanctuary off the coast of California. The creature initially stumped the scientists on board, according to the crew. The Nautilus scientists can be heard expressing their amazement in the footage of the crew discovering the Purple Blob, amid funny banter and shouting, of course. Curiosity got the better of the researchers, and they suctioned up the unusual organism for a closer look. The details of the discovery are now being shared. The Nautilus team first suspected the creature was a nudibranch, a sort of soft-bodied marine mollusk. According to current theories, it could be a close relative known as a pluribranch, though. The Nautilus team, on the other hand, isn't rushing to conclusions. According to them, it could possibly take years for scientists to definitively determine whether it's a newly discovered species. Black Dragonfish In many respects, the ocean is another world. It's a place very different from the Earth that we know and experience on a daily basis. Take, for example, the black dragonfish. This critter is also called as the Indiacanthus atlanticus. And to be honest, the little guys are quite frightening to look at. In fact, they resemble the creatures from the alien movies. Fortunately, unlike the aliens in the film, the black dragonfish poses little threat because they are, well, very tiny. Well, the males are, as they barely reach a length of two inches. Females, on the other hand, are significantly bigger, reaching sizes of up to 15 inches. Another reason why you shouldn't worry about these creatures is that they also reside deep in the ocean, considerably deeper than where the average human would ever go. Black dragonfish can generate their own light, which is common in organisms that reside in the dark depths of the ocean. These little terrors can be found more than a mile beneath the waves. Black dragonfish, however, can see its own light, unlike most bioluminescent predators, who utilize the light primarily to attract prey. New Jersey Locomotives We've all heard of train graveyards, but have you ever heard of one that's underwater? Check this out. There's a deep-sea train graveyard off the coast of New Jersey. Two locomotives that were lost in the 1850s are submerged beneath 90 feet of water. Paul Hepper discovered this graveyard by coincidence in 1985. He was using a magnometer to map the ocean floor. When the device flew over the graveyard, it detected two massive metal objects, which turned out to be the trains. How the two steam engines were sunk is still a mystery. There's no historical evidence that they were ever built and no evidence that they were ever lost. The engines, which were being transported from Boston to the Mid-Atlantic, are thought to have been lost in a storm five miles off the coast of Long Branch, New Jersey. 
Experts believe they either fell off the barge or were purposefully pushed off to save the ship from sinking in strong waves. They're remarkably well kept despite being covered in rust from the past 160 years. Yonaguni Monument Submerged stone structures off the coast of Yonaguni Jima are the ruins of a Japanese Atlantis, an ancient metropolis destroyed by an earthquake some 2,000 years ago. That's all according to Masaki Kimura, a marine geologist at Japan's University of the Ryukyus who has been diving at the site for more than 15 years to measure and map its formations. Kimura claimed that every time he goes to the dive boat, he's more sure than ever that underneath him lies the ruins of a 5,000-year-old metropolis. Not only that, but there's also an underwater rock pyramid that stands around 25 meters beneath the waters of Japan. Nobody knows who built it or when, but it exists and it's available to anyone who wants to go down and explore. The monument is called the Yonaguni Monument. Kimura's assertions, like earlier accounts of sunken cities, have sparked debate. According to agency spokesperson Emiko Ishida, neither the Japanese government's Agency for Cultural Affairs nor the government of Okinawa Prefecture acknowledge the ruins off Yonaguni as an important cultural property. Other experts who have been to the site claim that everything is all natural and not man-made. You ask me though, these structures don't look natural at all. Immortal Jellyfish Humans have always been attracted by the prospect of evading death. Religion, the planets, cryogenics, and even the mythological fountain of youth have all been considered. While we were seeking the sky, science, and all corners of the Earth, the secret of immortality could have been floating in the ocean the entire time, in the shape of a jellyfish. Only one animal is known to be capable of pressing the reset button in the face of imminent danger. This is the Turritopsis dorni, a species of jellyfish identified in the Mediterranean Sea in the 1880s. This one has the apt nickname of the immortal jellyfish. Most of us see the Medusa stage, the second stage of jellyfish life, when we think of a jellyfish. They spend this time of their existence as opaque, drifting balloons with tentacles trailing after them. What makes the immortal jellyfish so special is that when it dies, it sinks to the ocean floor and begins to decompose. Surprisingly, its cells subsequently re-aggregate, and not into a new Medusa, but into polyps from which young jellyfish emerge. The jellyfish has returned to an earlier stage of life to begin again. Now, if only humans had the same ability. Now it's time for the day's best pick. We'll be taking a look at a rather cruel tourist attraction. Underwater Cages While diving near Kokoya, Indonesia, a group of divers discovered something disturbing while investigating the area. They discovered two dugongs, which are rare marine animals related to manatees, trapped in the shallow ocean floor. The divers stated that the sea mammals seemed to be a mother and her calf, and that they had been caught by local fishermen seeking to benefit by letting tourists take pictures with the captured species. Dilon Lim, one of the divers, said that the mother and child were kept in separate cages. Lim said that while the smaller creature could swim inside its cage, the mother's movement was restrained by a large rope. The robes wear and tear, as well as the scars on the mother's tail, indicated that the animals had been chained for several weeks by the fishermen. Lim and a partner diver tried to persuade the fishermen to release the animals. The fishermen agreed, however, since the divers weren't convinced, they posted the video to social media. Which is a good thing they did. This is because it attracted the attention of animal welfare authorities. They went to the location a few days later, and sure enough, the mother and child pair were still trapped. Thankfully enough, the two were finally set free, and I think the people responsible were arrested. Ramhorn Squid the ramhorn squid's distinctive shell frequently washes up on beaches, but scientists have never observed a living specimen before. The Schmidt Ocean Institute's remotely operated vehicle, Sebastian, acquired video of the squid about 2,790 feet below the surface while studying deep marine parts of the Great Barrier Reef. The ramhorn squid has an inside shell that's more fashion-like the exterior, coiled shell of its relative, the nautilus, in contrast to most live squids, which have an internal hard shell remnant known as a pen. The squid swam with its head up toward the ocean's surface, which was the polar opposite of how experts expected the species to move. A shell is frequently used as a flotation device atop the body. The chambered shell functions similarly to the ballast systems of a submarine, with fluid and gas moving between chambers to regulate internal shell pressure as depth varies. The ramhorn squid baffling reversal of convention is appropriate for an animal that has evaded identification until now, and scientists aim to learn more about how it can swim with such a body form. Gelatinous Titan Even Earth has some wonders that rival imagined imaginations of alien life. One of them is the 2020 gigantic sea world. This huge siphonophore, a jellyfish-like gelatinous organism, surprised ocean biologists investigating the deep sea off the coast of Western Australia. 
The Apolemia siphonophore was discovered by a team of researchers from the Western Australia Museum, the Schmidt Ocean Institute, and the Scripps Institution of Oceanography while operating the Sebastian remotely controlled vehicle. From a distance, the monster resembled a huge spiral of silly string. Though the actual length of the siphonophore was difficult to determine, scientists believe that its outer ring was around 154 feet long. It's likely the longest animal ever discovered, according to the researchers who discovered it. I mean, really, just look at that thing. Makes me glad that it's only found underwater. See you all next time!